In this video, we're going to take another look at service providers, and we're going to see the difference between the register and the boot method within a service provider. We're also going to take a look at setting metadata within our views. So what I'm talking about is how we can set the title in our view and how we can set this description. Now normally what I've done in the past about this is I've always set it within the controller, and I don't think this is a big deal, and uh, there's certainly nothing wrong with it, but sometimes the controller methods can get a little bit bigger and a little bit messier um, with that in there. So I wanted to also explore a new option of where we can move that um, to another class to keep things a little bit cleaner within the controller. So the first thing I want to talk about is when we're creating our service providers, what happens when the stuff that we're doing within it is depending um, on other values being set within other service providers. So if we go over to app.php, we'll see an array of all of the different service providers here. And it seems that these are loaded one after another. So uh, it seems that like this artisan will be loaded first, and then the auth, and so on. However, um, in Laravel's documentation, it's you know it states that um, you know with within the register method of the service providers, we shouldn't be doing writing some code in here which is dependent on um, other service providers uh, values being set. So if you need to write some code um, that's dependent on another service provider, you shouldn't do that within the register method. You should do that within the boot method. So the register method is going to be called um, when all the all of the service providers are being loaded in. However, the boot method is going to be called um, after all of the service providers have been loaded and it's going to be called just before the request is routed. So within this metadata service provider that I've created, some of the um, things that I need to do in here is dependent on values being set from other service providers. So because it's dependent on other service providers, I need to um, you know, place my function calls within the boot method and not within the register method. So if we go down to the bottom here, um, I have this get defaults function being called. Um, that's being called from the boot method. And you'll see that within this get defaults method, I'm accessing some values that were set in another of my service providers. So I have this app site info. And this is my own custom binding in the IOC container that was set by one of the other service providers. So because I'm depending on another service provider here, I need to make these calls from within the boot method. So let's just go over to the browser for a second and refresh, refresh all these different source codes here. We have the FCL source, the bulk source, and the home page source. So those are all working fine. And what I want to do now is I want to go back over to my service provider and I'm going to move all of this code from the boot method. I'm going to push it up into the register method. And then we're going to come back over to the browser and we're going to refresh these. And you'll see that it's still working. However, if we go over to app.php, you'll see the only reason this is still working is because the metadata service provider um, is located after, uh, is positioned after this site info service provider um, within uh, within the providers array here. So if I go over here and refresh, these are all still fine. However, if I switch their positions and I move metadata service provider uh, to before site info service provider, and then we come back over to the browser here and refresh, um, we're going to get an error. And let's just remove this uh, view source here so we can see which error it was. And you'll see um, the error was an undefined property so we were trying to uh, access a property that was being set within site info service provider, but because that was being uh, loaded in after metadata, um, that value wasn't set. So it actually shouldn't matter um, where these are located within the array. It's totally okay to leave um, the metadata service provider before the site info one, but all we have to do is go back into our service provider here, and we're going to move this code um, where it belongs, which is within the boot method. So let's just move this down here. And now when this boot function is going to be run, all of the other service providers um, will have already been loaded. So if we go to the browser now and we refresh, uh, everything is going to be fine. So just to be clear, if you want to do any sort of initialization work within your service provider, such as setting some values or making some IOC bindings, and it's not dependent on other service providers, you can do that within the register method. However, if you are dependent 
on other service providers, then you need to do it within the boot method. So if I go over to the browser for a second and we just load the source of the home page here, um, you'll see the title has been set and the description has been set as well. However, if I go over to the controller for that, the home controller, you'll see nothing has been set here. And the reason why these are showing here is because we've done it within our service provider. So let's just take a look at what's happening within the service provider. The first thing I'm doing is I'm calling this get defaults method. And what's happening in here is we're just returning an array. Um, so if the request was for the home page, then this is being set to an array with the title and description. So all I'm doing here is I'm creating an array within the service provider where we can uh, optionally set our title and description for each page. And the index of the associative array is the request URI. The next function that's being called is this um, get metadata one here. And what we're going to pass to that is we're going to pass the request URI. So remember that within service providers, um, the basically the IOC container is the app property on the service provider. So we can access anything within the IOC container using this app. And here I want to um, access the uh, request index of it and then the server method. You'll probably see this within the documentation uh, looking something like this. And we could call it like this from here as well. But because we have um, the IOC container as a property of this class, uh, we can also access it in this way. So we're getting the request URI. So if they were uh, requesting the home page, that's just going to be a slash. And the second argument I'm passing is the defaults. And the defaults is this array that I've created uh, at the bottom here. So we're passing that into the get metadata function. And then we're just checking if that array key exists. And for the home page, this will be true. So it's going to find um, this array key of the slash here. And then we're just going to return um, return that element on the array. So what's going to be returned here is an array of the title and the description. So now that we have this array of our title and description, we can pass that in uh, to this view share method right here. So what this share method is going to do is it's going to share the array of data with all of the different views um, that you're loading. So uh, we have title and description here. So if I open up my um, if I open up my master view, um, we'll see here uh, that is well the extract function is going to be run. So um, it's really the same thing as when you're passing it through with the controller. You're passing an array, and then um, so we can output the title just like this. And I've made the description optional. So if the description uh, variable was set, then we're going to output a meta name description. But in other cases, we won't need to set a description. Um, so in that case, this just won't be run. So if we go over to the browser here, um, you'll see this is the description and the description and the title that I set with my service prov provider. However, um, it's still possible to override these within the controller. So if I uncomment uh, these two statements right here, basically it's going to override it because remember the service providers uh, the service provider's code is executed very early within um, the request lifecycle. So what I can do is I can overwrite those values here. So if we go to the browser now and we refresh, um, you'll see that I have my new values here, the overwritten description and the overwritten title. So this is just one idea I had um, in order to remove things like setting the title, description, and keywords from the controller just to keep things a little bit cleaner here and move that to its own dedicated class. However, I certainly don't think there's anything wrong with setting it um, you know, within your controllers. And even though it adds a bit more code to it, it's really not a big deal.